What do you want me to do? Just start talking? Well, yeah, basically, uh, we uh, would like to think your views about today. And, uh... Uh, okay, well, the EDL say that they're not racist and that they're just against their uh, Muslim extremists. But I've just seen um, them rampaging down this road, Umberston Road, I think it is. And uh, anybody who was uh, a Muslim who was driving a car, or who was recognisably uh, not white, they were kicking the cars. And, and, and throwing bollards at them and, uh, you know, police stop signs and all that kind of stuff. So if you're telling me they're not racist, then uh, I, don't, I don't know how they can make that out because they are racist, you know, that's what, that's what I saw. Also, I saw, I don't know if the police have let them do this or, or what, but when they were getting to the coaches, uh, taking the EDL away from their static demonstration back to the coaches, in the street where all the coaches were parked and they marched all the EDL down, uh, there was a thin line, of, like one deep of police, who were going to stop the EDL breaking out? Now the EDL didn't want to. The EDL didn't want to just get back on their coaches, having been bussed into Leicester, been talked at for an hour and a half or whatever, and then bust back out again. They want. They came in for a fight, uh, and so when the police presented with an opportunity like that of just one deep, and there's hundreds of them, you know, corralled in a narrow street, it's very it, well. Just seen it. It's very easy for them to break through, and that's what they've done. They've broken through. So here we are. They're. they're well, they seem to be contained by the police now, but they were for a little while there, they were rampaging around.